With seven professional wins to his name, 23-year-old Atawit Jim Watananon, or Jazz as he likes to go by, is beginning to make his impression felt in the golfing world. Starting off the year with a win at the Singapore Open, he followed that with his best result at a major, finishing tied for 14th at the PGA Championship last month. We caught up with a Thai player to discuss his fairy tale start to 2019 and find out what's changed this year. I started off the year very good this year, you know, playing my first event of the year and I won it in Singapore, so that gave me a boost. Got me to crack the top 100 and um, I think it just gave me that kind of like a bit of a confidence that oh, I can play in this level as well. Still getting used to life in the limelight, Jazz has managed to maintain a cool persona and wasn't phased playing alongside some of the big names at the Singapore Open. And the last day I get to play with Matt Fitzpatrick. You know, I'm really happy and I, that I get to play with the player that caliber. Playing with better players always help you. So you just watch, you don't even need to ask, ask sometimes, you just watch and you can learn so much from watching. Watch a way to win the Singapore Open. Another individual Jazz can credit his success to is renowned coach Pete Cowan, who also assists Jazz's fellow compatriots. Here they got Banrad, kind of introduced me and then kind of get Pete to help uh, with my game a bit. And then um, my career kind of got a little bit better and better by then, and you know, give me more like a direction to where do I need to move from. At the start, I struggled a bit, you know, and the uh, shit there just gave me like kind of reassurance to stick with the jazz, it will come. It, one day it's just gonna click and then it's gonna come. Like, because he told me when he worked with Pete as well, he he kind of um, struggled for like six, seven months and something clicked and he, boom, just kind of played good and now he's in PGA Tour, top 30 in the world. One thing you might not know about Jazz is that he took a short sabbatical from the sport in 2016 to join the Buddhist monkhood in his native Thailand. He told the European Tour website how his stint as a disciple has made him happier, calmer and more peaceful, improving his life and golf in turn. Crediting his maiden Asian tour to his time in the Buddhist temple, it seems practicing this higher state of consciousness and reaching Nirvana has improved his golf dramatically. I just feel happier that I, I have more plays to play and I have more planes, right? More tour to play and, you know, um, get to play in Europe, get to play in Japan, get to play in Asia. I just love traveling, you know, in these good places. In Europe, you get to to travel to some really nice places. In Japan, the food is amazing. In Asia, oh my God, it's just, it's like home. So I just, the more I play, the happier I get. With recently invigorated happiness and inspiration from a dream start to 2019, it seems things are only going upwards from here. At the start of the, my career, I was like, okay, track the top, top thousand, track the top 500, track the top 200. And then I didn't think the top 100 will come this soon. So now that I have the top 100, now I, I have a set up my goal a little better. So top 50 is my next goal, you know. To see who you practice with, your mates, crack that top 50, it's just very inspiring and, uh, you know, it just, just helps you.